Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for clicking on this video. If you've been a part of the channel, you know that I've been on a 2020 Can-Am Outlander 570. I recently traded that ATV in and picked up a 2023 Yamaha Grizzly. The reason being for that trade-in was after the consistent and ongoing issues that I've had with the Can-Am Outlander. Early on, I talked about some of the issues that I was having in my videos. Now, there's a couple things I've noticed with this bike already. One is the speedometer uh, doesn't work occasionally. The other one is there's kind of like a hissing noise that comes off the uh, gas cap over here. The last time I was out on that ATV, I actually had a episode of overheating. Hopped off the ATV. I was sitting there just checking out the ATV. I didn't know what to think because it was just yeah boiling saw that the gas tank started to build like this little swell from uh being pressurized my first thought was let's take off the gas cap relieve some pressure from this system and in the event of that that gas spew and hit me all over the place i mean yeah <laughs> who wants to have that happen um that was the final say in getting rid of that atv super excited to have the 2023 Yamaha Grizzly. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into it guys. So here it is, this is the 2023 Yamaha Grizzly 700 EPS. EPS stands for Electronic Power Steering. Uh, this is an awesome bike. It is the KN Black Yamaha Edition. I really enjoy that two-tone coloring. But uh, let's dive into the control panel, show you guys what that's all about before we kind of take a further look at the ATV altogether. All right guys, ATV's all powered up. Odometer reading, 62 miles. Uh, so yeah, she's still brand new, but what an awesome ATV. Yeah, we got a nice fancy uh, display you could go through. You could read your battery voltage, your temperature, um, of course your clock, it's 237 mountain time. Uh, you got your engine hours. Yeah, just an awesome ATV, and of course, you could go and toggle through the different uh, settings. Uh, you could do uh, trip odometer if you want to see uh, how many miles you put in for that trip. Um, of course, you could reset it with the switch here. Yeah, awesome electronic display. All right, let's have a look over here at the left-hand grip. So to begin with, you got your gear shifter over here on the left-hand side. Uh, of course, you got your engine kill switch you got your electronic start you got your light setup for your low and high beams you got your brake uh, engine override your high beams are up here on the uh, handlebars and of course your uh, low beams are the two that are up here on the ATV body here on the right side you got your uh, key you got your brake of course now here we have a limited slip and locking differential four-wheel drive system so here uh, with the red pushed out that's two-wheel drive you engage it you got four you flip this over engage here and you got uh, locking differentials and of course your uh, throttle here but yeah all together uh, this is really a comfortable ATV ergonomically so when you're riding you really don't feel any fatigue over to the way it feels just riding your ATV it, it all across the board it's just really really comfortable so when I picked up this ATV the gas container or the storage box was not included I've already put those on there gas container that I have is 1.3 fuel capacity for the ATV itself is 4.8 so all together with this setup right now, I could leave as long as both are full with 6.1 gallons of gas on a trail. Um, storage box comes in nice and handy. Uh, Yamaha does have some 
generous storage space, which I'll go into in just a moment. But on your front tires, you have 26 by 8 by 12. They are a Maxxis tire. And of course, your rears are 26 by 10 by 12. Um, yeah, nice size tire to have on a ATV. But of course, uh, storage box was installed after I picked it up uh, from the dealer. Here in front, you have a nice storage uh, container to have handy to put a few extra things in there some riding gloves um, phone accessories whatever you want to put in there that comes in really handy right now i just got a spare shirt in there um, you know we're still climbing up out of winter so a long sleeve um, along with my phone accessories go in there of course on the other side you do have a nice little storage container there which in this storage container I have uh, actually some bungee cords and I plan on swapping that out and uh, making more use to that in the future. Um, one thing I did not include earlier, um, here is your 12 volt uh, adapter. So yeah, really nice to have that uh, to keep uh, any type of electronics charged while you're on the trail. Um, of course, storage box I put in uh, aftermarket but yeah nonetheless uh, you got plenty of storage space in here and of course all I got in there right now are some riding gloves but um, let's talk about the uh, storage here in the rear so yeah you got uh, some more storage right there all together decent storage but keep in mind that storage right there is not water sealed so Whatever you put in that compartment, uh, make sure that if you're going uh, anywhere where there's water that could possibly breach that, that uh, it's not waterproof. So yeah, there you go. So down here sits an empty hole where the winch will be mounted, which I plan on putting the winch. I already have the winch. I just need to put that in there. I will do an installment video, so now's the time to subscribe to see uh, how that goes. Uh, and if you have any questions, you could ask uh, through my experience. Um, up here, you have your uh, battery, you have access to radiator fluid, all, of course, all the electronic gadgets that are in there that power uh, your Yamaha. Easy ATV to work on, if you ask me. It's just a matter of taking off a few things here like your your rivets and just popping that off like you traditionally would almost like opening a hood of a vehicle here so yeah coming around we got uh what's under the seat here which is nothing too fancy other than you got your air box and access to uh your fuel system in there which uh i believe that's your uh electronic fuel injector uh area right there uh, which is kind of nice shall you have to replace that but yeah all together nice easy atv to work on um, if you've owned several atvs you know that uh, working on atvs could be challenging depending on how uh, atvs were built um, i can am the battery was here of course your air filter was there which wasn't too uh terribly hard but i do own a polaris and they have the battery down here which is uh absolutely nuts when i have to work on any type of battery uh replacement or you know gaining power to the battery but yeah all together this is a nice solid build uh i want to talk about air pressure um yamaha had yamaha had this filled up to seven pounds in the rear and seven pounds in the front uh that's too much air pressure i dropped it down to five pounds in the rear 4.5 pounds in the front reason being is uh rider comfort ability not only that airing down actually has a, a useful impact on terrain so you're able to uh, navigate you know rock sand mud whatever just a little bit easier than if you had it uh you know seven pounds over the 
25% reduction that I've done with my uh, air pressure. So yeah, definitely want to do that if you're into off-roading. Underneath the seat of the 700 Grizzly, there is a 686 cc engine. Plenty power to uh, tackle trails. Not only that, you got plenty of tow power plus engine power to get any type of yard work or farm work uh, completed. You're able to pull uh, 1,300 pounds. Does come with the two inch receiver on the rear end there. So yeah, it's not only a trail horse, but it's a, definitely a workhorse as well with the uh, capabilities of 1,300 pounds. So you got plenty of uh, room there to spare as far as what you want to use this machine for. Uh, your front racks you're able to put on a little over 100 pounds. Rear rack you're able to put on about 200 pounds. So yeah, you got uh, generous weight in the front and rear. So you're able to do whatever type of uh, outdoor recreation or uh, work with ease knowing that you could uh, put this machine to, to work. I hope you guys found this video on a basic walk around of a 2023 Yamaha Grizzly helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I'll do my best to answer any of your questions. If you want to know anything about future maintenance, I plan on doing a, a few videos on how to uh, install a winch, do oil change, uh, anything that may come with an ATV. So yeah, now's the time to subscribe so that way uh, you're staying on top of the activities that go on with the ATV as far as maintenance and not only that, you know, what we buy ATVs for and that's just getting out there, trail riding, camping and just enjoying the outdoors. So yeah, if you're not subscribed already, now's the time to do it. But yeah, just wanna say thank you guys and until the next one, you guys take care of yourselves. I'm out of here.